Hello, Assalamu alaikum. I'm Dr. Irtakar from NIC LVD. Uh, honorable Chairperson, my respected course directors, and my colleagues, and my teachers. My presentation is on anomalous origin of coronary arteries and how to deal with it. It's a big subject. It has varied presentation and diverse presentation. It is the beyond the scope of my time limit to present this case in a short, short time. So I'll just go through the overview of this presentation. Anomalous original coronary is continuous incidental finding. Normally, we find it in 2.2 to 2 percent cases. And anomalous aortic origin coronary is recognized by cardiac imaging. And two terms I like to mention. One is anomalous left coronary artery and anomalous right coronary artery origin from different sinuses. So before going into the main part, I want to show some features of the normal coronary artery. And it has usually two to four ostiums and normal course, uh, normal course is uh, extra, extra mural and branches are, are educate easily and the schematic diagram shows the present, uh, arrow, the orientation of the coronary arteries. Okay. This is a big classification, I'm not going through it. So for doing any intervention or PCA, coronary arteries, we need some uh, vascular access, guide catheter and guide wire. The, the, in the lateral picture, I'm showing the shapes of some guide catheters. And for guide catheter, we need some design. Design of guide catheter, it has an outer jacket and inner liner coating and size of catheter catheter. For diagnostic purpose, we can use five friends, six friends, and guide catheter for simple PCI, uh, beginning from five to six, seven friends. And for guide catheter selection, for generally, for LCA, we use XB, RCA, Judkins, and Lima, modified Lima, or Cephanus graph graph. And for proper angiographic ping and uh, we need coaxial uh, engagement of the guide catheters. And choice of guide catheter is based on the anatomy of the coronary arteries. For narrow coronary arteries, we can use 3.5 guide catheters, the curve, and for uh, dilated, we can use more than four guide catheters. And also, we have to take in consideration the take of the vessels of the coronary arteries. Guide cutter for selection for anomalous coronary arteries. Anomalous coronary arteries can be abnormal position of the ostium. It may be high takeoff, low takeoff, anterior posterior displacement or of the ostium at the normal level or abnormal angle of the origin, which may be horizontal, upward, or downward, and arising from the different sinuses, the normal origin of sinus. Then we may consider something regarding the catheter post choice, because most of the time we not may have the catheter we need to do an angiogram or coronary intervention. We can consider the catheter which, which you have in your shelf, like it can be seen here, the catheter curve we have to consider and the catheter width we have to consider and the angle of the uh, coronary which can be considered to uh, choose a catheter from your shelf to do the angiogram. Apart from these normal catheters, we do have some special catheters, 3D RCA guide catheter, which is used for uh, uh, anomalous origin of right coronary artery. And we also have Ikari guide catheter, which can be used for left coronary artery. And also, especially in case of radial angiogram. And in case of PCI, in normal guide catheter, guide words can be used. So I'll move into some cases of anomalous coronary origin. My first case is the elusive right catheter. In this case, a 55-year-old female, the right system, left system was normal, but I cannot select the angiogram of RCA cannot be done. And non-selective angiogram showed uh, through the petal catheter. RCA is shown from arising from the left coronary sinus. So, so our plan was to do a PCI to RCA guide catheter can you use or suitable for this case? Can any audience give me any suggestions? Sir, should I proceed? Okay. So for this case, I choose a six, JL 6 friend guide catheter, which is cannulated to the upper part, as the RCA was uh, arise from the upper part of the left coronary sinus, I used this JL 6 friend guide catheter and made 
and a metascreen wire was passed and uh, the subsequent angiogram, uh, uh, subsequent angioplasty was done after pre-dilatation of PTCA balloon and placement of placement of two placement of one stent distally and other proximally overlapping the second stem and post dilatation was done with NC balloon and final view showed the normal RCA and Timothy for it was uh, achieved in the RCA and the next case uh, in this case, sorry, my video is not running. I am just going through it. The normal LCA uh, um, left main cannot be cannulated with different type of catheters. So we used a gel 4 catheter to cannulate the catheter, cannulate the left main. The left main arises from the non-CC, non- non coronary cusp and LED has a 80 percent lesion. So we used a EBU 3.5, uh, 6 point guide catheter and with the help of a uh, stiff wire inside the catheter, we somehow managed to cannulate the uh, um, a LED and successful PCI was done through the LED. So at the end, I would like to say this case is represented a rare case of anomalous origin of coronary arteries and main challenge of doing these cases are choice of proper guide catheter. Thank you very much.